so uh, CalcPlot 3 will have a, a default surface, uh, and you can eliminate that by either clicking, clicking on the clear the plot uh, or just um, getting rid of the, the parametric equations for that curve. And then what you want to do um, is um, pull up another curve, but uh, what we can do for examples is we can look at space curves, which is what we're going to be doing um, in this module. And you can see there are a number of options available to you. And like an ellipse, very common a helix. We're going to start with a circle here and, and um, expand from there. So in the circle, what you can see is that it automatically pulls up for you the parametric equations for a circle. And it, we are having it run from 0 to 2 pi, as you can see here. And I can animate the trace of that circle um, by just clicking on that button. And you might wonder what those vectors are that you see. And what, what we can do there is um, put a continuous animation in play. And then if you're wondering, oh, OK, well, which of these vectors is which, you can just click off the acceleration vector. And you can see that that is the green one pointing toward the center. Or the velocity vector, you can see it's tangential to the circle. Um, and then, of course, the trace vector is the blue one that is, it is pointing to the actual uh, the, the end of the, the vector. Um, I might be interested in knowing what the unit tangent vector and the unit normal or the binormal vector look like. Uh, so I'll take these off, so uh, just to kind of avoid some confusion, and then animate this here. And uh, I might be interested in what it looks like in three dimensions, and I can do that by clicking on the clicking off the restricted two dimensions. And I'm able to move this around just by clicking and dragging and looking at different views. If I want to go back to the top view, what I can do is uh, go to View Settings and View uh, from the uh, just view from above, the XY plane. Now, I might be interested in changing the parameters, and there are a number of ways I can do this. But uh, And I'm a little bit limited, but I'll, I'll show you that if I wanted to, for example, change the dimensions of the circle, I would put in, let's say, a multiplying here, a multiplying value here or here. And then I would need to add a slider to account for those values. Uh, and then the last thing, I actually have to update this curve to make it function well. Um, so I can cause these to animate all at the same time, but let me just start with the, the uh, animating the trace. Uh, and um, you can see that I've set the A, the a here. Uh, instead of negative 2 to, to 2, why don't we go from 0 to 2? Uh, and then um, we can see what happens when I m make the circle change in the, in the uh, factor of... of of uh, the cosine here. I, I will say that I have n noticed a bug in this program that sometimes this uh, slider actually accidentally goes out of the, the range that it's designated to slide. And if it does, just uh, to fix it, just grab the slider itself and pull it back in so you can manually move it like this. Now, you might be interested in, in examining something like, let's say you want to know, well, how is the the um, velocity vector, for example, changing when I do that. What you could do is, um, I'm going to stop animating for a second here. What you can do is you could say, oh, I just want to look at the velocity vector. Um, and I, I'm, go I'm going to, uh, let's see what I got here. Uh, not the trace vector, but just the, just the velocity vector. And um, I want to see how that changes. It might be moving too quickly for me, so I can add a number of steps to slow down that animation. So in, this helps me see, well, how does the velocity vector change when I actually move the, the uh, dimensions of the curve? In this case, you can see it's, uh, it's, a, it's an ellipse. And you can see that the, the length of the velocity vector uh, does, in fact, uh, the tangential velocity velocity change at different points in the curve. You can see it's getting larger here. So that's a, another thing that you can do. And you can um, use these uh, parameters. You can change these parameters. Like let's say you're interested in um, moving the center of the curve. Um, you might say instead of, uh, you might do this, A plus C. Uh, I can add a D here, but I'll just do this for illustrative purposes. 
you have to update the equation. So that's a bit of a, a, a something to remember. And then you could see, uh, see, I can animate the location uh, along the x-axis, and then also look at how um, the the trace uh, values change while that moves around. Now this, I am not changing the dimensions of the circle. I'm just changing the location of the circle. So those are that. That's how you use um, uh, Calcplot 3D to to um, change the parameters and make new parameters in these parametric equations. And you can do an ellipse. You can do a helix. Uh, in this case, you can see that I've got uh, z zero, but I can certainly add a dimension. That z is um, let's say 0.1 t, so that this becomes um, more of a three-dimensional view of what's happening here. Let's see. You might be able to see. Oh, I didn't uh, I didn't update the equation. That's the problem. There we go. And once again, this will help you um, get to some of the conceptual answers in the uh, night uh, five content.